Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, as we did before, we have in here the um, um, square root of the sine of x that we need to find the domain and the range of this function. As we did before, I'm going to take the, the sine function, okay, to have, you know, maybe you know, sketching or, you know, drawing out this function here. So this is the sine function we had before, and we were having these value, established values, you know, to to define this function on the xy coordinate. Let's see. Okay, now we can you know use the same table value, but this time use it with the with the with the square root of, of sine of x. Okay, so if you take the value here, the square root of zero is, is going to be zero. Square root of one is one. Zero is zero. This one is undefined. And zero is zero. Minus one is also undefined. And zero is zero. So that gives us on a y uh, x y coordinate where we are at zero. When x equal to zero, we got a zero. It is right here. When x equal to pi over two, we have a one. So going on here. When x equal to pi, it is 0. We are right here. When x equal to mm, 3 pi over 2, it is undefined. It means that this, you know, this time in this year doesn't belong to the, to the function. And we have in, for x equal to 2 pi, we have a 0 right here. x equal to minus pi over 2. I mean, this side here is also undefined. We don't have it needed in the function x equal to um, to minus pi we have a zero it's right here okay uh, but we should have had um, pi over two uh, minus pi over two if minus one is undefined of course undefined I mean this one here is undefined and this one is undefined okay so I got it this is both here this here and that here and if you have um, x equal to uh, 3 pi I mean the sine of pi be 0 of course and 3 pi will be also will also be 0 so it's right here and the sine I mean the square root of the, the sine of the 5 pi over 2 is not defined it's defined as well this is going to be 1 of course right here okay. as you can notice all the negative value of the y are not represented so they excluded kind of and even here the function is going like this you can just draw it like that from from here to this side here and stop there and this one is not defined the function the function start again here until here and the other one is not defined so let me just uh, do this one a little bit better like I did the other one because it looks really crazy okay just do it like this the functions might be something like that all right that's beautiful now and here it's not defined it means that it's gonna be it's gonna be and it continue to be defined right here okay as you can see, the domain of this function uh, start. I mean, it could not be. It, it, we can. We would just put an etc. because the value can come from minus seven pi over two minus nine and something like that. It just something like kind of an infinity coming from there with some values that are not included. All right. All right. And since we've uh, taken the limit here onto three pi on the positive side, let us just take in the three pi on the negative side, side right here. So we'll be having a uh, kind of uh, you know three points that we don't know where it's still coming, and we first having you know or okay it means that it's coming from one from some I mean one an interval or we have in this interval now it is yep minus two pi to pi minus two pi 
this is because I didn't, you know, kind of draw the function onto the end there. I would have seen that, but I can't see that because uh, I'm just kind of guessing. But actually, we have a minus pi here, means that, you know, the previous function, the already previous value here is minus 2 pi. So we have a minus 2 pi and pi. And it's going to be an interval between minus 2 pi and 3 pi, so it doesn't exist. All right. We're having here minus 2 pi and minus pi. Then we're having 0 to pi. And we're having 2 pi to 3 pi. This is what we can see here. 0 to pi here and 2 pi to, to 3 pi and so on. And the, uh, the range of this function, as you can see, is only about the positive side of the y-axis. So this is going to be, you know, between, I mean, 0 included and 1. That's how where our function is from, from here to there, to 1 here. I mean, I didn't draw it into 1, but it's, not, it's, uh, it's on the 1 here, okay, excuse me. It should be on the 1 here, right here. Okay, uh, maybe just let me correct it quickly. It should be on the 1 here. Because I wanted to make it a little bit beautiful, because mine, what I did before, was, wasn't that good. Alright, but it doesn't matter, you understand what I mean? And that's why I'm going to do like this. Okay, it is on the 1, and then going down here. Alright, that's beautiful now. And here, it's going to be doing the same thing, you know, describing the you know, minus 1, and then going down here, and up to, to 1. So, okay, it is 1 here and one there okay we have to clean up All right. okay almost like this and here the same thing you know, it's going to be touching one here, of course, and the other side going, you know, and that other one at the top, we can delete. Alright. Anyway, you know, it's a sine function, so the, uh, I mean, the, uh, the maximum or the minimum value shouldn't exceed. 1 or minus 1. So it's not really a mistake, just like I want to make it clear for everybody to see. Okay, now you got it. So uh, that's how we can define it. We have the range now, it's about, it's in between 0 and, I mean, the function is defined between 0 and minus 1, and 1 on the y axis of the function. So that's our range right here for the sine function. Okay, thank you for watching, guys, again. Until next time. Bye bye.